Welcome back guys. It's another Wednesday. They just seem to be kind of rolling one into the next, into the next. Time's flying. I forgot to change my wax, Ellie. How's me your wax? Um, I didn't get it all out. I should have changed this before I started. Anyway. Um, like I said, Wednesday again. And the weeks are just kind of flying by so far. There we go. Oops. The weather here in the UK is absolutely gorgeous. You may hear the blinds bashing about in the background because we've got all the blinking windows open. There's a nice breeze, but I am still so hot. It's like um, 25, 26 degrees here but we're to make the most of it because tomorrow the weather's supposed to go right downhill and we forecast rain and storms and so the last few days I've just sat in the garden under their parasol it's way too hot just moving makes you sweat it's awful you could spend the day sitting in a cold shower that's how warm it's been. Even my cats don't know what to do with themselves because they're both black. They keep camping under my parasol or under the sun tray that the kids have got outside. Anything for a bit of shade. So, how has your guys week been so far? I know some of the places are starting to lift their um, stay at home or stay in place orders. As has lifted a little and said up to groups of six people can meet as long as we're still staying socially distant. Me? No, I'm still not going out. I'll go shopping, that's it. Um, some of the year sixes went back yesterday and today. Ellie did not. I told them I wasn't going to send her in. So the schoolwork has been coming in. Ellie complains that she's got way more. And as you probably guessed, you've seen her hand, she's here. took us a while to decide what to do it was almost certain Luna's having a funny one we knew we were probably going to do diamond painting but which one was the question Took early 10 minutes to decide what colour to do. She didn't want to do black, there's too much of it. She didn't want to do purple, there's too much of it. So she went for the hand and the arm. So they're quite, uh, they're not big blocks of colour. Anyway, like I was saying, hopefully you guys are still safe and well. We are. Tyler did go out and meet a couple of his friends. On, I think it was Saturday. Yeah, it was. It was Saturday. Um, one of them decided to be a complete idiot. And although most of be staying socially distant, he kept trying to get close to everyone else, which annoyed them all in the end, apparently. So Tyler said if they ask again, he's not, he's telling them he's not going. And then uh, Rob said yesterday that he was standing in the queue 
because that's what happens here in the UK. There's a queue for a shop and while you're queuing you have to be two metres distant from the person in front and the person behind you and you wait to let be let into the shop because there's only so many in at a time and there was um, someone in the queue who was I think getting a bit too close to the one in front and they said something and he went apparently don't tell me you believe in all this virus stuff okay well it's all over the news you've seen the people in the um, intensive care units people dying and all sorts they even showed you someone that was in there saying I didn't believe it he says I do now and I implore you all to stay at home so but we're all doing the best we can staying home as much as possible which I don't mind my brother rang me yesterday and his girlfriend they were off out for a walk you are allowed to go and exercise which means you can go for a walk and he says we're just coming down your road we're just passing so I stood on the front doorstep they stood outside the garden and we just had a bit of a chat for 20 minutes or so I haven't seen him in ages uh, that's a double one you don't know what to do now do you Elle? I wouldn't say it was obvious so yeah, last few days it's just been grab whatever I've been working on, sit in the garden under the parasol. I've got a grey. Dark or light? Not sure. Dark. Is that? And even just sitting under the parasol, you're working up a sweat doing nothing. I sat out there and I actually finished my blanket, mine and Rob's blanket for our bed. Um. It annoyed me to sew in the ends, as it always does, but I did it. It's been washed. It's now on the washing line drying, so that'll be on the bed tonight. Now I've got to um, draw out right the next one, which is going to be a fortnight blanket. So I've got to chart it all out onto my squared paper for my nephew. I wonder if Kelly's getting on. Kelly messaged me the other day and said she was she'd been and fetched some wool to start another Marvel one. Um, she's done one already. That same image for her son Jake, and now she's doing the same image for someone else. I'm surprised she hasn't messaged to say she can't do it because it's so warm. So when you really get into the blanket, you've got a big pile of blanket on your lap. And boy, does it get hot. My blanket was that big, I put it in the washing basket where I'd normally take the wet washing outside in. Carried it outside in that and just kept turning it in the basket so it wasn't on my lap. And even that was still, oh my gosh, so warm. Awful. I do apologise if you can hear people talking. Like I said, all the windows are open. Um, can't be avoided really, unless I want to uh, almost suffocate in a warm front room. <laughs> Pick a colour early. <laughs> no good just sitting there. Doesn't decide for you. Pick another arm colour. And then do a face. Okay. I'm beginning to hate black. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stop doing it. I just seem to have a knack for picking ones with a lot of black. That sounds like a bin wagon, so I do apologise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for the businesses out the back. They're emptying the business bins. 
It's one heck of a truck that comes to do that, so. Ow. It'll be gone in a minute. Hopefully you can't hear it too much. He stuck to the camera, so that was smart. Ow. That is it. This canvas is covered in yours and my DNA. Oh, where did my drill go? You've done it again. It's not clever, you know. Makes it stink as well when you keep doing it. It won't pick up my drill. Stuck to the tray. Thank you. I'm gonna use your advice. Gosh, that's loud. Use the tip of your finger. No, because I have a long <laughs> nail and it gets in the way. Put your nails. No, like a long... Ah! No! Such a market. I've run out of white wool as well, so I can't do the owl blanket at the minute until I manage to get some more. So, Rob's gone around the shop now and I've told them to have a look, see if they've got any in. Venus is there anyway. And this is exactly why it told you to start from the right side. Why? To avoid sticking to the canvas. Well, it does say that at the bottom of all the uh, canvases. You just choose to work from the bottom and upwards. I'm just choosing to do the black. Her dress is black. Just to add a bit more black into the mix. Looks like a hot dog. Look. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of American news as well. Rob we'll puts it on every morning. You know, just to kind of see what's going on around the world. He likes to know. So we've every morning so far, we've been watching the news about George Floyd and how that awful, awful officer dealt with him. It's a shame. You know, racism shouldn't still be a thing. We're all equal. There is no difference. So... I really feel for his family. I don't understand the rot, the um, the looting though. That's not about George Floyd. Just some small-minded idiots. Heal yourself up, honey. I like filling in, it goes a lot quicker. You stuck to the chair? <laughs> yeah. That's what, you, that's what you get when you sit there with nothing on your legs. I have a night on. Well, you know. Just makes you even hotter to have some trousers. Tell me about it. <laughs> and yet you're wearing them fluffy pajamas and fluffy socks. She did something more cool. Well, the fluffy socks is because whenever I am up and about, I always get cold feet. Really cold feet. Then put your slippers on. I'm. How does that even figure? I'm sweating and I'm hot, yet my feet are freezing. Not all the time, but some of it. Missed the drill. Where am I looking? I don't know, where are you looking? I was looking over this side.
was a really good week last week. It was so quiet. The kids didn't have schoolwork, so they could just get up, wash breakfast, and do whatever they wanted. And then this week it's back to schoolwork, which they weren't chuffed about, but they did it. Stop stinging a bit, Ellie. Yes. Stop sticking yourself to the canvas then. It's the easy answer. Oh, I did pick you up. That's the easy answer. That satisfying click of putting a square diamond in the space never gets old or tired. Oh, I love that sound. Got so many things I need to get done. Riley's Mario that he doesn't know. Well, it's Yoshi, isn't it? That he doesn't know about. I haven't touched that in a while. <sighs> oh, jeez. I'm really warm. <laughs> It's parasol out after this and sit in the garden. I'll join you. I can't cope in here. You're not going to go and play Riley? Maybe not. Why? Maybe later. Yeah, later. When it cools down. Mind you, yeah, my bedroom's like a sauna. Even though the windows are open. It's <laughs> so on the back hot. of a house, which is where the sun spends most of its day. So my kitchen gets about an hour, I think, of sunshine in the morning. And then it goes cold. And then it comes over the back. So the kitchen is always nice and cool. <laughs> they got it the wrong way, mind you. No, it would make a kitchen hotter if it's on the back. You'd have the heat of the oven if you were cooking. Plus that would not the be sun. nice. Yeah, perhaps it's a good idea then. But my room, it's like a sauna, even though the windows are open. It doesn't help that Riley shuts the blinds. That's to see the TV screen. Apparently. Because the sun's coming in the room, you can't really see it. Yeah, but then there's no wind coming in. So when I go to bed at night, it's fan on as fast as it'll go. <laughs> Why do you keep it on number one then? Just because. But on number three? Because Dad's trying to conserve electric. Conserve? Con what? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what He's trying not to waste electric. I'm sick and tired of sticking to this canvas now. Stop putting your hand on it then. <laughs> trying to. Just no, to just get don't. balance. Ow. <laughs> you pulled your hand off. And stuck it straight back down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that made sense in your head somewhere. <laughs> it didn't in mine. Now she just looks weird. I thought that anyway. Just keep going then. It's not an ideal size anyway for detail. I think it needed to be a bit bigger. I've seen it as a partial. It looks nice as a partial because you don't have, I don't think you do here. Hmm. Not sure. Not the background. You don't do her face, I don't think. You do like her wings. Normal and... partials you don't. On my cat one I didn't do the eyes. I didn't do the cup either. That was sad. Wanted to do the cup. You can probably buy them as full drills. The cup looked cool. But then you'd have to do the whole background in a colour. That'd be too much effort. Just can't please some people. Too much effort and not enough. <laughs> Piece of nail varnish. 
Hey. What do you mean like I was finding it on your skin the other day? <laughs> That's because I got out of the shower, okay? Okay. Not my problem. I told you to set the nail varnish off. No, oh, it will last. It will stay there until it but goes have you seen your itself. Fingers? Yeah, the messy. Exactly, it needs to be taken off. I like my nails without nail varnish better. Just so you can see the long nail. Why don't you take it off then? Can't, Can't be bothered. Be bothered. <sighs> <sighs> the kids of today, I tell you, so lazy. My eldest, he used to say, can I borrow your phone? And I'd say, why? He said, because I want to text my mate, see if he's coming out. And I was like, go and call for him. He went, nah, I can't be bothered. I could get there and he's not coming out. What, what do you think I did when I was a kid? I didn't have a mobile phone. No way of really contacting my friends except the house phone. <laughs> Parents wouldn't really use the house phone. <laughs> so I had to walk and call for my friends. And yeah, it was a bit of an annoyance if they said, no, I'm not coming out. Exactly. But That's the point. It's just laziness. <laughs> yeah, but then laziness. there was no point in going there. Yeah, because while you're out, you might see one of your other friends. You might not. But you might. You might not. Look on the positive side. <laughs> I don't look on the positive side. Well, that's just negative then, isn't it? Just a waste of your own time. That's probably Beanie at the door. No, I think it's the wind. It's pulling on the front room door and it keeps banging it. Only if you find when you open the door, Luna's laying there. Probably. <laughs> too lazy. It's too hot. When I go outside, she normally flops underneath my chair in the shade. <laughs> Want some company? I don't know what to do. I was pegging out the washing earlier. Binks came over to me. He was out. He rubbed against my leg a few times. You know, the usual things cats do. I bent down. I gave him a fuss. He rubbed again, so I gave him another fuss. He rubbed again, so I did it again. The cheeky little bugger then attacked me. He grabbed my arm and bit me. Only playfully. He didn't bite to hurt. He was biting to play. Mm. Cheeky little minx. I wasn't playing. <laughs> Even though apparently I was. <laughs> He's such a little monkey. He came over to Ellie the other day and just for no reason whatsoever, he did the head rub across Ellie's legs, the same as he did to me. And then he just turned and bit a leg. <laughs> Grabbed hold of it with his paws and tried biting it. A cheeky little so-and-so. And Ellie hadn't even touched him. That was the funny part. He went too early and decided, right, I'm going to play with your legs now. <laughs> he used to do that to Tyler all the time when we first had him and he was only like, uh, not even one. He was a few months old. And every time Tyler walked past him, he'd attack his legs. It was hilarious. He doesn't do it as much now, but he seemed to have a thing for Tyler. Whoever walked down the stairs, he's come running up to them and bite their leg. Yeah. Cheeky little monkey. Luna will do it occasionally. She'll grind and try and bite it and pedal it and... <sighs> but they have this really... I wouldn't call it a nasty habit. It's... If you walk in, like say to the bedroom, quite often Binks is lying on my bed. If you walk in and speak to him and start giving him a fuss, he'll actually roll onto his back and give you his belly. Apparently that's meant to be a good sign for a cat. It's a sign of trust. And they're happy, you know, and they trust you and whatever. Well, he has this... He lulls you into a false sense of security. He's a crafty little cat, I tell you. He'll roll onto his back and show you his belly, for you to rub his belly after you've given him a fuss. And the minute you touch his belly, that's it. His arms, his mouth is on your arm and he's pedaling your arm. He was lying, he didn't want to give you his belly, he just wanted to play. Luna. 
Luna, wow, she's a cat, you know. Yeah, it's totally different. She's weird. She has, um, it's a habit. I've never ever in all the years I've owned cats heard a cat do it. But when you're playing with her on the bed, she likes, um, if you put your hand under the cover and you wiggle your hand towards her, she loves that, absolutely loves it. And she'll play and she'll chase it and whatever. But when you first start, as soon as your hand's coming towards her under the cover, she'll dive on top of your hand and it sounds like she spits. She kind of goes, Tch. it's hilarious. We had to go times just to make sure it was here we were hearing and it's hilarious. I've never heard a cat spit before. Luna does. I gave up so I'm doing black. Well, you must be desperate. New threads have arrived for what? My thumb hurts. Ah. <laughs> My new threads have arrived for the mystery sal. So that's um had a bit of work on it again this week. I said it'd be here either Monday or Tuesday. It arrived yesterday. So the post's not doing so bad now from the looks of it. I mentioned to get things out and delivered. I've got the hiccups now. I hate the hiccups. Oops. Hold your breath. Ah, oh, that blinking door. It's because of the wind. The back door's open and then the windows in here are open. It's pulling on the door and then pushing it again. It is closed, but... That's Polly Luna. Mm. Pushing against the door to come in. I doubt it. Can you open it? Oh, mind you. Yeah, whatever. As long as she yeah. shut it again, if she's not there. Probably another one somewhere. Yeah, it's probably another one Call her. Oh, that breeze was nice. <laughs> Definitely a garden job after this. She's probably chilling in the garden somewhere. If I could have set this up in the garden, I would have done. But probably good. It gets lit there sometimes, and it wouldn't have been easy. All the wind and stuff. Yeah, and like the neighbours' kids and stuff playing hide in their garden. I assume they were playing in a pool or something, because the squealing that was coming on the other day was loud. But. That's how kids play. So putting this in the garden wouldn't have been the best. It would be nice to them. Um... It'll be quiet tomorrow when it rains. And... Now we'll be outdoors. Nope, but it'll be cooler. Thank goodness. <laughs> I feel like I'm melting. And I gotta go shopping tomorrow, so that's gonna make my even worse because I have to wear a mask. <sighs> and wait in a queue for 20 minutes. Yeah, that ain't fun. You're getting bored after a while. I know. Just standing there waiting. Yep. But it's to protect you, it's to protect me and everyone else. We've got our Prime Minister saying, right, we're going to start rolling back or whatever on the restrictions and then you've got the scientists who've been advising our prime minister for ages going no 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 it's too soon don't do it don't do it and they're calling the teachers unions to open the schools um i don't know actually how many i went to, back to early school but early sure didn't I'm just not willing to risk my children's lives. 
there's been a lot on Instagram and Facebook, not my child, not my child, and people have been taking photos of the kids' shoes by the doormats. No, not my child, and I don't blame them. But it's up to the parents. I'm not going to judge anyone for their decision. It's their decision. I don't judge other people and I don't um, criticise them for their decisions. They're grown-ups. They know what's right for them in their house and their children. So my decision's my decision. You've got to go with your heart, really, on what you think. Never mind what anyone else thinks. But Ellie's happy to stay at home anyway. Not happy about how much work she gets, but... <laughs> she had, like, um, six sheets today. She had eight all together, but two of them were like a passage that she had to read and then she had to answer the questions on it. So she had like six pages of work. It took her till after dinner because she really couldn't be bothered today. But I don't blame it. It's hot. <laughs> it's sticky. And when it's like that, you just want to veg out. Find a cool spot. Bob says we need some recliners in our garden. We've just got like the standard garden chairs, not the plastic ones, the metal ones. But Rob says we need recliners. <laughs> so we can all have a lie down. I say we all. You lot don't go in the garden anyway. Upstairs. On the Xbox? Yep. Playing games on the tablet? And I can't put the Xbox outside, not a chance. <laughs> Where are we at? 32 minutes, okay. I will do a couple more minutes maybe and then I'll let you guys go so you can get back to doing whatever it was you were doing before. Hopefully you're getting lots of uh, me time and craft time and, or whatever it is you choose to do in your free time. Reading maybe, I like reading. I like Stephen King's books I do. So did my mum. But when I was young, mum used to buy me, um, she always bought me loads of books because she knew I loved them. Um, Agatha Christie, Poirot, Murder on the Orient Express, and there was a book with like four different stories in that one. And then I've got, still, this is one of my earlier books, Nancy Drew, the detective. I've still got it as well. It's in my cupboard and I won't get rid of it because my mum bought me that. And I've kept You should read it, Ellie. It's good. It's meant for like your age. I'm not meant for reading. Huh? I'm not meant for reading. I don't have patience. Unless I find a really good book. Yeah, exactly. You don't need patience to read a book. You need a good book. I can never find a book I like. I have several books. You have to find out what interests you. Do you like mysteries? Do you like horrors? Because there are teenage horrors. I know. Okay. Do you like... I sort of like books. adventure. Adventure. Well, that... Adventure's nice. That Nancy Drew is sort of a bit of a mystery adventure. <laughs> Don't tell me you're tired. I... Oh, my gosh. I tell you what, people, she's been so tired these last few <laughs> weeks. Yeah, she's been getting more sleep, I think. Unless you're getting up at ridiculous o'clock. That wouldn't surprise me. Well, we got up at, like... I think it was four o'clock. I might have gone out of bed. Oh, what? Not today, but I think it was... Well, Saturday. if it's four o'clock in the morning, that's today. Unless you meant the other day. The other day, got up at like five or four in the morning and didn't get back to sleep until like seven o'clock. Wow. Just him getting out of bed wakes me up. I can't get back to sleep. 
He's not not exactly quiet though. He gives me a blinking heart attack sometimes when he runs across the landing, because I'll be fast out asleep. That's because he's Riley will need scared. the toilet, or he'll need to tuck him back in because his blankets a mess or his quilts a mess. And um, I'll be fast out asleep. He'll go to the toilet, and because he's got a fear of the landing. I think it's because perhaps of the someone might be there. I don't know. I think it's because of the stairs. But there. because it scares him, he will run from the bathroom into my room. And because he's not quiet about it, I absolutely cack my pants. <laughs> <sighs> it's not even funny. I jump out my skin half the time. And then the one night, just to completely confuse me, <laughs> he didn't come running in. He must have just not had the fear that night, I don't know. But he came quietly into my room over me and then quietly spoke to me. And as I was just coming out of sleep, he spoke to me again. But because he was like right over me and almost you in jumped. my face, I jumped. Jeez, I tell you. I can't win with him. If he gets the fear of, like, because he even put a quilt and he, he can't sleep sweats. without the quilt around his head. It's really, really bizarre. I have a sort of fear. I could never sleep without my legs or my arms outside the blanket. It just doesn't feel right. I can't do that either. I have to have them right. inside the quilt or inside the, the throw or whatever. Otherwise, I can't sleep. I don't like it. I can sleep with my arms out. My feet and my legs have to be under the, the blanket. Anyway, we're going to let these good people go now. And we're going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope the rest of your week is fabulous and eventful. And full of goodness. Mine will be crafting. <laughs> um, <laughs> afternoon, I think. Um, enjoy the rest of your week, guys. I will see you before next weekend. But anyway, have a nice weekend anyway when it comes around. Um, feel free to leave me any comments. I love reading comments and I always let you know I've read them because I always leave a reply. Um, hit the like button on your way out if you don't mind and I'll catch you on Friday for Flash Tube Friday. Yeah, take care guys. Bye.